is maneuvering by the White House and Brian Yenis, who is following President Trump this weekend at his New Jersey golf club. Uh, so has the president indicated, Brian, how far he is willing to compromise on a final health care bill? Good evening, Julie. Well, the White House indicate has said that the president fully expects there to be changes made to the final health care bill, so long as it really includes the three main pillars that they like, which is lower costs for Americans, a competitive insurance marketplace, as well as flexibility for states to decide what coverage they want to offer their residents. But as you noted in that intro, Julie, this is going to be a tough, tough sell. Senate Republicans already saying they're going to come up with their own bill. They're referencing things like pre-existing conditions, the cost of uh, the of coverage for those of pre-existing conditions being too high under this bill, as well as Medicaid cuts, which could leave millions of Americans without insurance that got insurance under Obama's uh, the Obamacare Medicaid expansion. So a tough climb still left, but the White House says, look, they don't have any timetable or deadline, and they are willing to see the legislative process play out. The president's focused on getting it right, not getting it fast. I think we saw the mistake that uh, the Democrats made by trying to force and rush this through. We're taking uh, the appropriate steps to make sure that the American people get the health care system they deserve, and that's the president's commitment, not an artificial timeline. Yesterday, the president continued his victory tour, so to speak, in his weekly address while pressuring the Senate to just get it done. This was a major legislative victory for Mr. Trump, following up on a Republican promise to repeal and replace Obamacare. The president likes that the bill will eliminate Obamacare taxes and regulations and that refundable tax credits and expanded health savings accounts will give consumers choice and flexibility in buying coverage. But still, he voiced Julie uh, frustration in a few tweets yesterday saying that he believes people are being too critical of a bill that he sees is clearly better than Obamacare, which is currently in place. Julie? And so to what extent will the president personally be getting involved uh, to get this bill passed? The White House says the president will continue to be hands-on. Remember, reportedly, he took this law, the first loss when this uh, health care bill went through the House and failed personally. And this time around, he made phone calls and pr uh, pressured Republicans in the House to get it done. And former Trump advisor Corey Lewandowski, well, he says that he expects the same thing from uh, uh, the president this time around when it comes to the Senate bill. He's going to be working the phones. He's going to be meeting with individuals, I'm sure, in the U.S. Senate to get a piece of legislation done. If he's required to go out and campaign and get on the stump like he did in Harrisburg last weekend to push his bill forward to make sure we can get repeal and replace done, he's willing to do that. And he has a great microphone to bypass the mainstream mm -hmm. media, the fake news. He can go directly to the American people and put pressure on those U.S. senators who aren't willing to hold to their promise to get repeal and replace done. Meantime, the president visiting here in Bedminster, New Jersey, at his golf club for the first time while he's in office. And there were some protests here, a handful of protesters, pro and anti-Trump, that showed up four miles away from the golf club. Uh, and also, we do have a tweet, the first tweet of the weekend, actually, from the president regarding his visit here to Bedminster. Remember, he was getting some pushback for taking all these trips to the uh, South uh, White House in Mar-a-Lago and now appear to the, the Winter White House in Mar-a-Lago and now appear to what's being dubbed the summer White House in Bedminster. Well, he tweeted, the reason I'm staying in Bedminster, New Jersey, a beautiful community, is that staying in New York City is much more expensive and disruptive. Meetings. That uh, a clear um, response to those who are saying that he should stay at the White House to do his job as opposed to coming up here and wasting taxpayer money. He doesn't see it that way. Julie? All right. Brian Yenis there in New Jersey. Thank